Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we're going to study the coordinate grid. And you're already familiar with it, but now we are extending it to include negative numbers as coordinates. So it looks like this, okay? Both the y and x axis extend to negative numbers. And let's see how it works now. Let's see we need to plot the point 3, 4. Well, that actually is going to be here, familiar to you. The x coordinate is the first number. So we go three steps or three units on the x-axis and then four units up. Okay, so that's where that point is. The next one, minus four, one, this is the x-coordinate. So we go on the x-axis to minus four, or negative four. It's over here. And then one means we go up one over here. This one, two, minus five. First I go to two on the x-axis. Then minus 5 means I go down over here so that it will match with the y axis minus 5. Minus 5, minus 1. First I go to minus 5 on the x axis over here. And then minus 1 means I go down one step. 0, minus 3. I go on the x axis to 0, which is right there. Then I go either up or down. Down in this case, over here. And then minus 2, 0, I go on the x-axis to minus 2, and then I move 0 units up or down, so I move nowhere, it's right there on the axis. P, let's find the coordinates of the point P over here. Okay, basically you look from P towards the y-axis and towards the x-axis and record your numbers. So x-coordinate is 1, and the y-coordinate is negative 2. For Q, we do the same. Look over here, towards the x-axis and towards the y-axis. Towards the x-axis is minus 4. And towards the y-axis, minus 3. And then R, look towards the x-axis first, which means you look down, minus 3. And then towards the y-axis, which is 2. Okay, now I'm going to erase some of this so we have more space to do the rest of the problems. Let's continue now. Reflect A. A is a point at 3, 2 in the x-axis. Okay, let's plot the point A first and see what the reflecting is all about. A is at 3 and 2 over there. Now, reflecting this point means like mirroring it in the x-axis. Okay, it is as if this was a mirror where would the mirror image be? It's on the opposite side of x-axis over here, right? So we get that the point is then at, you look up to the x-axis and over here to the y-axis, it is at 3, negative 2. Then let's reflect it in the y-axis. That means this was my original point, A. Let me mark it as A and this is A prime. It was the reflected point. Now I reflect it in this, as if this was a mirror, it goes over here on the other side, but it goes exactly three units right there, a prime prime. And its coordinates now are, x coordinate is negative three and then two. All right, now notice real quick that when I reflected the point in the x-axis, then its x-coordinate did not change, but the y-coordinate became the opposite. Okay, if you have any point here and you reflect it in the x-axis, it's going to have the same x-coordinate, right? But the y-coordinate changes from whatever it is here to the opposite. Or if the point is here and you reflect it in the x-axis, the same happens. If the point is here and you reflect it way over there, then the x-coordinate is the same, but the y-coordinate changes to the opposite. And of course the opposite happens when you reflect it in the y-axis. So that over here you reflected it over there, the y-coordinate is 2, does not change, but the x-coordinate becomes the opposite. The vertices of a triangle are at negative 2, negative 2, negative 3, 0, and negative 5, negative 4. Reflect it in the x-axis. Let's first plot those points. Negative 2, negative 2 would be here. Then negative 3, 0 is this one here. 
and then negative 5, negative 4, negative 5 here, and negative 4 there. Okay, so we get a triangle. Here's my triangle. Now we're going to reflect it in the x axis so it will go over here. But before I do anything else, let me calculate the coordinates, the new coordinates, the reflected coordinates. And like I said, when we're reflecting it in the x-axis, the x-coordinates don't change. These ones don't change, but the y-coordinates will change to the opposites. So we will get minus 2 and 2. And then minus 3 and 0. This does not change. And then minus 5, 4. And let me plot these points. Minus 2 and 2. And this is the same point. And then minus 5 and 4. Somewhere there. Now let's draw this triangle. There. Looks good, doesn't it? 